Having said that, you may, question two, have made one of your more impressive marks doing a homelessness series in which you lived as a homeless person. Uh, how did that go and what was the feedback? I had just returned to Toronto from uh, more than seven years overseas as a, as a foreign correspondent and had, uh, had the luxury of seeing the city and the country to a certain extent with very fresh eyes. And my editor at the time felt it was a great opportunity to uh, look at an issue like homelessness uh, from a different perspective. Uh, I suggested living on the streets for a period of time, uh, picked a, a week, which may have been too short, or uh, uh, depending on your, your point of view, but it gave me remarkable insights uh, into what it was like to live. I stayed in shelters, I slept on the pavement. It was December, it was, uh, it was pretty, it was sub-zero at night. Uh, slept in a box in uh, Nathan Phillips Square and uh, panhandled, uh, had started the week with only five bucks in my pocket and had to beg to, uh, to buy coffee or food or however I was going to get through, uh, through the night. Uh, and just shared those observations uh, with, with readers, um, including some astonishing uh, observations about the amount of money someone can gain panhandling in the city. I think it was $225 in a day. Now it was grant, granted around Christmas, so people are more generous, but it's remarkable how much uh, panhandlers gain, most of them uh, for the use of, uh, of crack, I discovered. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was remarkable to see what went on in the hostels, at, uh, or uh, the shelters, I should say, at, uh, at night. Uh, and so I documented that and thought this was, uh, these were insights and, uh, and information and stories worth sharing with the public. Had no idea the explosiveness of it at the time. Didn't really appreciate the politics of homelessness, having been abroad, and it lit a firestorm. Uh, in the city and frankly across the country. Maybe Canada needed that. Maybe we needed a more passionate debate about a social issue like homelessness, but astonishing to me coming back to Canada, how polarized the readership or, the, or how polarized Canadians were becoming in the late 1999, early 2000. 